the sanctuary up in the mountains. This right here is an absolute dream escape in beautiful Switzerland. And today we're gonna to be showing you around this beautiful country. In fact, one of the most beautiful countries on planet Earth with some very, very modest filming equipment. Today I'm gonna to be using the iPhone 11 Pro that's always in my pocket. I'm gonna be using a $50 microphone and a $20 Gorillapod. I'm also gonna to have to fly the drone because I'm in Switzerland. If it's flying, it's not for my iPhone. Really my goal today is to show you guys how incredible of a travel vlog you can put together with really any camera. Camera equipment should never be your excuse. This is my first time in Switzerland and I think we're doing it pretty well here. This is White Pods Hotel. It's like little tiny igloos all along the mountainside. Unbelievable. This morning is off to a perfect start. I mean, we've got croissants, we've got fresh bread, fresh juice, we've got cheeses, all from the comfort of this room here. And also we had the most amazing morning because we went to bed with the curtains open. So as soon as we woke up around like 6 a.m., we could see all the sky with the Alps and the snow and it was just so incredible. So magical. It was the first time I woke up early and I said, okay, I wanna stay awake and don't go back to bed. Mm. And now it's time to go back to our car. It's literally melting and then refreezing so it's become ice and now I'm tobogganing with my feet. <laughs> so pretty much the only way to get around Switzerland is going to be a super, super expensive rental vehicle. Uh, we got the most affordable vehicle we could and it's still costing about $100 per day for this. They upgraded us, I think. It's still a nice car, but my gosh, it's so, so pricey. And even the most basic expenses become expensive here. This was my experience at McDonald's. Only in Switzerland, a $20 burger, $4 McDonald's coffee, and they want me to pay $1.25 to go pee. I have traveled all over the world and sometimes you get what you pay for. And it seems to be the case here in Switzerland. Today has been a no pressure travel day and that's why we've just gotten in the car and driven through some random roads to see where it would take us. This valley area is so exquisite. Ready to go back? No, I want to stay here. So nice. We made it to the top of the mountain and here waits Dimitri with the hey. most beautiful sight you'll ever see. That right there is some Swiss fondue just before it hits the liquid point. Let me show you what's going on here. One of the best things about all the food we've eaten here is the fact that everything's locally sourced. So most of the things come from within Switzerland. So this wine that Dimitris is opening is actually produced downhill. Just so down there. you can get more local than that. <laughs> Salut. Salut. No, it's not so it's good. Not so no. Which one is it? Sante. Sante. <laughs> Sante. You're like, hi, hello. <laughs> this is paradise right here. Having fondue in the Alps at one of the most incredible hotels. Since I met Katy, she's been telling me about one dessert and we're about to eat it. Yeah, not since you met me. Yes, literally. I think the first thing you said was double cream. <laughs> no, it was since we got here. It is time to double cream. This is the thickest cream I've ever seen. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's just like pure, delicious fat. Mm -hmm. No regrets. This is honestly one of the most beautiful experiences I've ever had. Fondue, campfire, all while set right here on top of this ridge, looking at the rest of the Alps. It's time to get back to our room. I'm gonna crank up that sauna and heat up because I'm getting a little cold out here. Good morning from the Swiss Alps. It is the start of a beautiful clear sky day here. This has been one of the most memorable hotel experiences of my life. Some people like tropical islands, some people want to be up in the mountains, and if you're looking for that special occasion, maybe a honeymoon, oh my gosh. I love it. 
Perfection. I feel like this is one of my ideal vacations mm -hmm. because it's so cozy. You just stay there and relax, enjoy it for the landscape, eat amazing mm -hmm. food. Yeah. Perfect. Expensive, as is everything here in Switzerland, but worth it. It's time to head down the mountain. Let's freaking do this. <laughs> it just caught and I went flying face planted forward. Oh, send it. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a miracle you've lived this long. And here we go, a brand new room, a brand new destination. We have just moved on to Lausanne. This is where we're staying. This is the Lausanne Palace. How beautiful is that? It's beautiful. So about five years ago, Kathy was spending quite a bit of time here in Switzerland. And you told me that this is a hotel you'd always wanted to visit. Yeah, so I was pretty much broke. <laughs> I was a star in YouTube and I will come here only for special occasions. Yeah. To have a special dessert that I like, or maybe a glass of wine or champagne. And I always wanted to stay here. So when we, when we were planning the trip, I told Christian, like, we gotta go to the sun and stay in this place because it's amazing. It has an amazing view. Oh my and gosh, I just yeah. can't believe I'm here. Her I dream know. come true. I know. So right now we're in a very trendy area with a lot of amazing small businesses with incredible food. So let's go eat. Mm. I want to show you something. She's going to show me her local spots from five years ago. So Swiss money is so beautiful. It's like incredibly colorful and worth a lot of money. No salute anymore. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful cameras. But little do they know, all they need is a cell phone and to join Lost Creator Academy, which is also linked down below if you want a free preview of how to become a content creator. Hashtag shameless. Shameless. <laughs> Anyone who thinks of Switzerland probably thinks of just a few things. Mountains and chocolate. And today, we're gonna get to experience the latter one. Katy has pulled some strings. How did this happen? I don't even know. So I have a really good friend here that has a really good friend here <laughs> that has a father that is a chocolatier. So they invited us here to do a degustation. Let's go make some chocolate. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. <laughs> we just ate. Bonjour. 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 Salut. 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 <laughs> beautiful, beautiful chocolates. Oh my gosh. Get ready. Okay guys, so this is the chef. Bonjour Nicolas. Bonjour. So today we're gonna be making some chocolate bunnies because it's Easter, well it will be in a few days. And so we're gonna see how he does this day to day and we're getting started right here in the lab. Whiskers, the eyes. You don't need to sabotage mine, I'm sabotaging my own. <laughs> the name of the game here is speed and no bubbles. I'm very focused. It's not easy. No, it's not. It's actually so much more work than I expected. Be careful with Roger. <laughs> Roger! This is a family run business. It's been here for, I believe, a hundred years. So soft. So good. Mmm, wow. And this is how you leave a chocolate store in fashion. A massive bag here is full. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Bye. A prochaine. We found our favorite dark chocolate in the world. If you're coming here, ask for the crudo. I thought I recognized Katy's outfit before, and I just realized what it is. Tonight, we have been treated to an incredible dinner here at the Grand Chen, which is here inside of the palace. When even the grocery store food tastes good, I'm sure this is incredible. Wow. Switzerland is blowing me away. Bon matin, madame. Sorry, I'm busy eating. Well, that's all right. <laughs> it's been an incredible stay and the food has been insane. But we've got to hit the road again because it's time to leave and go further north but not before going for the piece. I'll show you. Road trip time. We 
drove about two hours from Lausanne to come and see this waterfall. But we didn't just come to see the waterfall, we came to show you this like fairy tale like village by the name of Lotterbrunnen. Lotterbrunnen? Lotterbrunnen! Brunnen! We've actually crossed over to the German side of Switzerland now, so this is what you get. It is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that famous Switzerland panicular as well as a few other things that we had in store, but it's just gonna be another trip for another day. It's cold and we need a hot chocolate. So, this cute little home run restaurant. Hot chocolate. Yes, this is so disappointed. We paid like $5 to get milk with Nesquik. At least minus coffee. Sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well guys, this was a really quick stop. We don't have much time, but it was amazing to stop here. The landscapes are beautiful. It seems to be a really incredible place just to come ski and then do some hikes. Yeah, it was super, super worth it. And now we're going to a place which is kind of all the way back to where we were earlier. We didn't really plan this very well. Welcome to Hotel Palifit. Check this out. We only have one night here, but we're gonna make it count. We are floating right now. I never expected to have an overwater room here in Switzerland. I've only had that one other time in my life and it was in the San Blas Islands of Panama. So this right here is pretty exquisite. That's the seagull that tried to knock my drone out of the sky. So each of the units comes with this. A ladder. Now, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to get in this time of the year, but I might just challenge myself tomorrow morning. This right here is insane. The most delicious cheese inside of what's almost like a, a pasta outer shell. This is why I don't do culinary videos. So this is how dessert is brought to you in style with a chariot. So you get to pick whatever you want from this beautiful glass cabinet of joy. Good morning and check this out. Five meters away from the bed is the beautiful sunrise going over the lake here. What a magical way to start the last day in Switzerland. Made it to the airport. I thought I'd be ending this here Switzerland video by checking into the airline and getting on my way back to Canada, but it turns out we have an unexpected additional day, at the very least, here in Switzerland, because our flight has been cancelled due to a global situation. Spoiler alert, Katy and I did end up getting back to Canada, so thankful for that. If you're curious to see how things became in those final days of travel in Europe, then check out my other video just linked down below. But let's get back to what this video is really about. It's about showing you what you're capable of shooting with the camera that's currently sitting in your pocket. Virtually any modern phone these days can shoot beautiful video. And the awesome thing is, if you know what you're doing, you can get very similar results on this than you can on something like this. I always tell people, it's not about the camera, it's about the person behind it. It's the exact same reason there's a fairly substantial difference between the GoPro highlight reel and your friend's GoPro video. That is why it's more important to have the knowledge than it is to have the equipment. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be having quite a bit more time on my hands these upcoming weeks and months, and so this is the best time we may ever have to really hone in on these skills that we've always wanted to learn. If you have ever dreamed of making a living with your camera, whether it be like this or like this, then don't worry because I have the perfect free training program waiting for you. Over the past year, I have been building the Lost Creator Academy, which is now home to over 500 community members. It's one of the most exciting places for content creators. And the best thing is with over 30 hours of training, 60 videos and constantly growing, you will be able to take this downtime at home and learn so much. But don't just take my word for it. Try it for yourself completely free 
Just go to the link down below and sign up for my free content creator bootcamp. And the awesome thing is, if you sign up for that in one week's time, you will also be receiving a one hour free training because again, I know how much time we all have on our hands right now. And I think this is a great pastime for some of us. Thank you for watching this video and making it all the way through to the end. Hit that subscribe button and join the community today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, let's get lost again in the next one. Ding dong.